truest words that were ever spoke, aside from my mother's, which was, which were, find what you love, and the rest will follow. The work has single-handedly lifted me up over the course of my lifetime, from the time I was 16 years old to now. Maybe it's because I had to uh, find a way to overcome the things that were happening to me in my life. I had a lot of early sadness, really quite unbearable sadness for a young girl. And I'm one of many children. And I was indeed my mother's surrogate. And all of these early responsibilities had, uh, I'm sure, quite an impact. And in the writing of the book, I realized what they did to me. They made me want to flee, but into the arms of something greater, which would be the world of creativity. And as my mother said to me when she turned off the ignition of the, to the car and turned, and she said, you can either be a mediocre poet or a great actress. Now, which do you think you'd rather be? And I did it. She was right. <laughs>